All right, so you're about to start your gig. This is how you can check out the details for your gig and clock in and out. All right, so whenever you log into the Pickle app, which you've already created your account, you'll get to this main homepage. On this main homepage, you'll be able to find your active gigs where you are placed. If you have more than one, you'll be able to swipe left or right to get to the one that you need. But <clears throat> it's also gonna show you a list of your notifications. On this screen, whenever you do want to check out the job, uh, you can go to either My Jobs or you can click on Clock In from the home screen and it will take you to the screen for your job. On this screen, you'll be able to see what company you're working for, the job title itself, the location, which you can copy and paste into your uh, preferred navigation app if you need to, as well as when your next shift is and then the clock in button, which will use the clock in and out for your shift. Also on this screen is a helpful breakdown of your schedule for the week, as well as shift notes that include your dress code, parking and arrival instructions, attendance policy, and any additional information about the gig that you may need. It'll also list out your wage and the hours that you've worked for this week and how much pre-tax income you've made. It'll also give you your instructions for your lunch right there. For this one, you'll be clocking out for a 30 minute lunch break, but sometimes that is auto deducted. So please make sure to take a look. If it's auto deducted, you don't need to clock out for lunch. Below, you'll be able to see the times that you've worked for this week already. But right now, let's go up and let's clock in for our shift. Okay, so this is giving me a warning message because I'm not actually scheduled for this shift right now. If that ends up being the case, sometimes, you know, the data in here isn't perfect and, or maybe you have a shift that you got called in for that isn't necessarily on your schedule. That's fine. Go ahead and click yes, clock in, and then it's going to start your clock in. Now it is geo, uh, geo fence. So if you don't clock in at your job site, it'll also push us a warning about that. And we'll follow up. Uh, it's also going to shoot us a warning if you clock in too early or if you clock out too late, or if you have too many hours for the day that aren't scheduled, just so that we can follow up and make sure timesheets are accurate on here. You'll be able to see when that shift is going again, when you're done with your shift, you'll click on clock out. It'll log that time for the day and it's going to tell you a breakdown. You'll hit OK. If you need to request a timesheet edit, you can also do that in the app. Again, this is going to be from that job screen, which you can find from the main screen by going to clock in or from the my jobs screen and going to clock in and it'll pull that up. To request a timesheet edit, you'll go to the shift that you need to have edited. You're going to click on that day. You'll choose what time you need to be, what time you need to edit, whether it's an in or an out time. You'll click on that time, click on it again, adjust that time in the app to what it needs to be. So I'll just say 8.15, confirm, add a note, you know, for us so that we know what's going on. Forgot to clock in when I started work. All right. And then once you have that, you're gonna go ahead and hit request edit. It's gonna show that edit request. It'll show your edited or your requested time in that clock in now, and it'll be reviewed by a person at Vangst. You can close out of that. It's gonna show it again, updated on that timesheet for you. It's also going to make sure that you know everything you need to. Uh, you can review notifications that you've gotten for the app. You should get some if you aren't clocked in for a shift or if you have one upcoming. You can update your profile in here with your personal info. You can also find work in here by looking for other gigs that you can filter down by keyword and by location. I hope this helps. Uh, good luck on the quiz after this. It should be pretty easy if you watch this.